All right, guys, so I was just um, chilling. I went to sit down and look at some texts and maybe respond to a text or something. And um, the cop walks up to me, Behringer, and uh, he starts questioning, you know, who I am. I go, what's your name and badge number? I didn't have my camera ready, so I just took care of it really quick. But uh, he gave me his bit, name and badge number. I shook his hand, but I didn't give him my name. You know, because I don't have to. I'm just sitting there. I say, why did I, you know, why'd you come up here? And first of all, he goes, oh, I just uh, seen you around. Um, you know, I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> I said, well, you got a reasonable suspicion of a crime or has a crime been committed? Are you detaining me? So said, no, no, no. Like I said, I just came up to, you know, see who you are. You know, I seen you around. Got an ID? I said, yeah, I got an ID. Are you gonna get it? No, that's not gonna happen. Like I said, I didn't do anything. I'm just sitting here. I'm just texting somebody, and I don't even need to tell you that. And I'm not homeless, but even if I was, that doesn't give you a right to come up to me and start asking questions. I live here. I will tell you that. So I told him, I'm, you know, I live here. And uh, but. Um, and he, he started to fall apart at that time because he really didn't have much to go with. I mean, he could have made some bullshit up to try to get my idea, I guess, like a, a tyrant. Like, oh, well, this or that happened, or, you know how they do. But I wasn't even doing like a First Amendment audit or anything. I was just sitting down, minding my own business. And I was standing up for my constitutional rights as an individual who's not doing anything. You know, who's not causing any problems. So this is what, uh, this is uh, because I got educated a little bit from people who pay attention to the Constitution and the law books, you know, and uh, Cop Watch, Community Cop Watch, and, you know, what I'm talking about, News Now, H, I'm just going to keep everything shorter because I don't want to say your entire name because um, YouTube is... All of a sudden saying they have a problem with that so I can't I'll do call outs but I'll do abbreviated versions anyway so bottom line is that cop said okay well thanks and he walked away because what I did was I basically told him to go kick rocks without saying go kick rocks you know I could have said I don't have an ID you know but that would would have been a lie on my part and I don't lie so generally I do not lie I, I might make up a white lie or something, you know, in relation to who knows, who knows what. But um, if like a birthday present gets late or something, I'll tell somebody, oh, I fucked up um, the mail or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, just to let you know, stick up for your constitutional rights. Don't let cops come up and demand ID from you because they can't do it. With re without reasonable suspicion of a crime or a crime, they cannot even... They really don't have the right to come up and talk to you. They're supposed to be doing their job, which is policing. That means going and finding people suspicious of crimes or committing crimes. So, peace out.